Hello class 6, good morning everybody. Hope you all are fine here. Today, welcome back you all uh, for this new video. Okay. So, today we are going to do exercise 6.3. Okay. And from this exercise, we are going to do question number 6 here, which is what problem type questions right so look at here the question number six i am doing here question number six is what is the questions question is what should be subtracted from 145.98 to get 67.098 okay so how we will do these questions okay i will solve this problem this what problem i will solve here Everybody watch this video, okay, and try to understand. <clears throat> now, first of all, we need to understand these questions properly, okay. Try to understand. You are telling us, what questions telling us here, what should be subtracted from 145.98 to get 67.098, okay. That means, to get this number, okay, to get this decimal number, what we have to subtract from 145.98 understood it's very easy questions okay but you need to understand properly okay watch this video and try to understand it okay so look at here uh, we have to find that decimal number okay we have to find that number okay so so that after subtracting that number from 145.98 we'll get 67.09 right so look at here before solving this problem uh, i will okay before solving this problem uh, i want to tell you one few example okay few example uh, one example so look at here for example suppose suppose someone telling you what uh, what we should be subtract from 7 to get 6 what you will do okay if someone telling you what should be subtract what should be subtracted from 7 to get 6 what you will do see it's simply if you will subtract 1 from 7 you will get 6 right look at it suppose suppose if you will subtract 1 from 7 you will get 6 suppose someone telling you what should be subtracted from 7 to get 6 after subtracting 1 after subtracting 1, you will get 6. That means 1 is the answer here. Okay, 1 is the correct answer in the same way. If we compare with these questions, you are telling us what should be subtracted from uh, 145.98 to get this 67.098. Okay, so that means in the same way, if we compare with this problem, okay, like this problem, what if someone telling you what should be subtracted from 7 to get 6? You will subtract 1. After subtracting 1, uh, you will get 6. And so in this case, 1 is the answer here. Right? So, if, if we, so to get 6, we have subtracted 1. So, if to get 1, to get 1, we need to subtract 6 from 7. Right? If we subtract 6 from 7, we will get 1. In this case, this 6 will be answer. Understood? Uh, so, the tell you. So, here, in the, okay, if we compare this uh, example with, with this problem, okay, so what will happen? So, it will be, uh, we need to subtract 67.098 from 145.98. After subtracting this decimal number from 145.98, whatever you will get, that is the answer, right? So, uh, don't be confused, okay? I will solve here, okay, look at here and try to understand. So, it was uh, just an example, okay. So, after watching this example, uh, you can easily understand this problem, I hope. So, look at here. Two decimal point number here okay so 
सॉल्यूशन सॉल्यूशन ओके फर्स्ट नंबर इज वन फोर्टी फाइव पॉइंट नाइनटी एट ओके एंड सेकेंड नंबर इज सेकेंड डेसिमल नंबर इज सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट जीरो नाइन सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट जीरो नाइन एट वन थिंग यू मस्ट रिमेम्बर दिस डेसिमल पॉइंट यू हैव टू पुट इन द सेम लाइन ओके सेम स्टूडेंट Okay, after putting decimal point zero nine eight, there is no any number, right? So, so that at the decimal point, if uh, there is no any number, then we can put zero. Okay. So suppose, okay. Now I am going to subtract this one, sixty seven point zero nine eight from one forty five point zero nine eight. So now look at here. Is it possible to subtract eight from zero? Not possible. I have uh, obviously it is not possible to subtract zero eight from zero because zero is a smaller number. Zero is nothing. Zero. That means zero. Uh, obviously, it is greater number than zero. Then in this case, what we will do? As you know that this uh, types of subtractions you had already done in the three, four, isn't it? So we have to borrow one from eight, right? So after borrowing one from eight, here there will be ten. Is it? Now we can subtract eight from ten. After subtracting eight from ten, there will be two, right? So we have already borrowed one from eight. So what left here? We have seven. Now look at it. Is it possible to subtract nine from seven? There is seven now because we had already borrowed one here. Okay, and then uh, it becomes ten, and we have subtract eight from ten, and as a result we we'll get here two. So now what left here? Seven. So now in this case also, if you see nine is greater number than seven, so it is not possible to subtract nine from seven. So in this case also we have to borrow one from nine, right? So after borrowing one from nine, there will be seventy. Now if we subtract nine from seventy, what will be? There will be eight. Understood? So now what left here? Eight. If we subtract zero from eight, there will be eight. So put this decimal point here. Now seven also we cannot subtract seven also from nine. So in this case also we have to borrow one from four. After borrowing one from four here, uh, five becomes fifteen, right? So after subtracting seven from fifteen, what will be? There will be eight, isn't it? So what left here? Three. So now if we take one here, there will be thirteen. If we subtract six from thirteen, there will be seven. This way we will get seventy-eight point eight eight. Understood. So this is the answer. Very simple. So, but uh, at last we have to write this way. Uh, we have to write here for seventy-eight point eight eight two. Okay, should be Should be subtracted from one forty-five point ninety-eight to get sixty-seven point zero nine. So this is done. Understood, children? It's very easy. Okay. So. We can check it also. Okay, so I have written here. We have we have got here seventy eight point eight eight, right? So seventy eight point eight eight two should be subtracted from one hundred forty five point ninety eight to get this one. Okay, so to check, suppose if we check what is now look at. I am going to subtract. Okay, this seventy eight point eight eight two from one hundred forty five point ninety eight. Okay, and answer should be. Sixty-seven point zero nine in this case, and only it will be confirmed. Okay, this answer is absolutely right. Okay, look at here, one forty-five point nine eight, seventy-eight point eight eight, seventy-eight point eight eight. 
Question number seven is find the number which weight added to six seven hundred sixty three point twenty five. It becomes one thousand. Okay, so we have to find out in question number seven. We have to find out the number which weight if we added to seven hundred sixty three point twenty five. It becomes one thousand. This question number seven is also same as question number six. But uh, the way to tell it. Okay, the way to asking you the questions is different but the uh, uh, solving process is same as number 6 okay uh, so i hope you all understand these questions okay now i am doing i am going to do question number 7 okay Question number seven here. Okay, find the number. Which way? Seven hundred sixty-three point twenty-five. Look at it. Seven hundred sixty-three point. Look at it. One thing you must you need to understand here: there is no any decimal point in front of one thousand. Is there any decimal point? No. That means we should. You need to understand this. One thousand is a number in front of the decimal point. So I have written here one thousand, and uh, in front of two digit here in this case in this. Number in front of two digit there is decimal point. That means we have to put here decimal point, and after that we have to write here twenty. So uh, 
behind the decimal point uh, you can put here zero okay so, but in front of the decimal point you cannot put zero but uh, behind the decimal point you can put zero if there is any no any number understood so look at here after subtracting 763.25 from one thousand what will be now look at it is it possible to subtract five from zero it is not possible so we have to borrow one from here this one if we borrow here there will be 10 after borrowing one from here then there will be nine but it, this zero becomes 10 in the same you will see there will be 10 we subtract five from 10 what next here what will be five now nine remaining remaining no so if we subtract two from nine there will be seven there is also nine because this one we have taken from uh, here, yeah, okay, 10 after that, this 10 will be, this 0 becomes 10, then this, this 0 becomes 10, 10, 10, okay, and uh, after borrowing 1 from this, all this, uh, uh, here, here, this, in the 4, four number, there will be, uh, what is 9, 9 better put, so, uh, 10 is 9, so 7, and if you subtract 3 from 9, there will be uh, 6, okay, we have already taken 1 from here, so they are also left, how much left? 9. So if you subtract 6 from 9, there will be 3. So what left here? 9. So if you subtract 7 from 9, there will be 2. So 236.75 is the number which we went ahead to. Uh, 763.25 it becomes 1. So therefore, 236.75 is the number. when added to 763.25 becomes 1.5 okay after subtracting this 236.75 okay uh, Sorry, after adding this 236.75 from 1000, we get 763. Okay, let me check. Question number 9 is Priya's mother gave her rupees 15.75 
Shape of rupees twenty point thirty. Okay. Her father and mother both gave her fifty point seventy five and rupees twenty point thirty. Uh, so we have to find out the find the total amount. Okay. Find the total amount. the total amount given to Priya given to Priya by her parents So as a solution, we can write. Okay, look at here. Priya's mother gave her rupees how much? Fifteen point seventy five rupees, and her father gave her rupees thirty point twenty point thirty rupees. Find the total amount simply. If we add these two, we will get the find the total. We will get the total amount. It's very easy. Okay, but by writing, in what problem? There are some method okay and using following that method we have to solve. So first of all Priya's mother gave her Priya's mother gave her how much rupees fifteen point seventy five. Okay, and Priya's father father gave her equal to rupees twenty point thirty. Okay, so find the total amount given to Priya by her parents. So therefore, total amount. Total amount given to Priya's by her parents. By her parents. If you add these two numbers, we will get answer. It's simple. So rupees fifteen point seventy five plus rupees. Twenty point thirty. Understood? If we add these two, we'll get the answer. It's very easy. Okay. Right here. Okay. I'm going to add. Okay. Fifteen rupees. Fifteen point seventy five. And rupees twenty point thirty. What is it? Five seven and three ten one ten five and nine ten one six. Put your decimal point two and one. So we will get this thirty six point zero five. This is the answer. Okay. So last rupees thirty six point zero five is the total amount. Given to Priya by her parents. So this is done. Understood? Very easy. This way you have to solve. This is what problem? Okay. We know that. We all know. If we add these two number, we'll get total. But While writing, okay. While solving, in what problem? The way to write is this. Okay, we will use it. Following this way, we need to write. Priya's mother gave her father. Priya's mother gave her rupees fifteen point seventy five, and her father gave her rupees twenty point thirty rupees. Isn't it? So total amount this way. You have to add, and you have to show here as well. Okay, how to add, and after that finally you have to write. 
36.05 rupees is the total amount given to Priya by the parents. Understood? Okay. So this is question number 9 and I am doing question number 10 also. Okay. Okay. So I am dropping this. After that, I am doing question number 10. Number 10 is Bina Tribe. Ten kilometer and two hundred fifty meter by bus. Okay, and eleven kilometer, eleven kilometer, three hundred forty meter by car. Is her school from her home? Okay, we are traveling ten kilometer to fifty meter by bus. Understood? And 11 km 340 meter by car. After bus, she travelled by car. Okay? And finally, 250 meter on foot. So, in order to reach her school. So, we have to find out how far is her school from home. Okay? So, solution is... Bina travel by bus. Bina travel by bus. How much kilometer? Ten kilometer to fifty meters. Okay. Ten kilometer and two fifty meter. Now Bina travel by car how much kilometer 11 kilometer 340 meter by car understood so uh, we have to write here by car in 11 kilometer and 340 meter to this car and then we not travel by foot is 250 meter okay so right here 250 meter so finally you are telling us how far is her school from home okay so therefore distance from home in this case also we have to add this all if you add this all whatever you get that is the answer ok so 10 km 250 meter 
plus 11 kilometer and 340 meter plus and 250 meter okay so look at it kilometer and meter kilometer is 10 11 and 0 kilometer so meter is 250 here right 250 and here 340 meter and here 250 meter okay now we need to add what will be 0 5 5 10 and 4 14 1 10 3 to 5 into 7 and 1 8 so there will be 1 1 and 1 8 so if we add this all we will get 21 kilometer and 840 meter. So this is the answer okay so at last 21 kilometer and 840 put here decimal you can put here decimal point okay 21 kilometer and 840 meter Okay, this is the way to solve these types of problems. This is one problem. This is number 10. Okay. Now, listen, children, uh, I have done here question number 6, 7, 9, and 10. Okay, rest of the questions 8, 11, and 12. Uh, you have to do yourself. Okay. So, thanks for watching.